In the tranquil town of Willow Creek, nestled amidst the rolling meadows and looming mountains, a legend had been whispered for generations. It spoke of a headless rider who would appear on moonlit nights, galloping on a ghostly stallion, searching endlessly for his lost head. It began over a century ago, when the town was not more than a cluster of houses, and the paths were made of dirt and grime. Ivan Blackwood, a revered blacksmith, was known far and wide for his exceptional craftsmanship and eccentric nature. He would craft intricate metalwork and peculiar sculptures, and his pieces were coveted by everyone. One evening, a mysterious man draped in rich, royal cloaks rode into Willow Creek. His horse, a beautiful midnight stallion with a silver mane, caught everyone's attention. The man approached Ivan and requested a special piece, one that would symbolize his undying love for his beloved. He offered an unimaginable price, an amount that could change Ivan's life forever. Elated, Ivan began to work on the masterpiece. He gathered the finest metals and stones, working day and night. Months passed, and the masterpiece, a jeweled pendant, took shape. But, something was amiss. It lacked an element of authenticity, a touch of the soul. In his desire to craft the perfect piece, Ivan struck a forbidden deal with the old witch of the woods, Agatha. In exchange for the essence of true love, Ivan had to offer something invaluable. Without thinking of the consequences, Ivan agreed. Agatha handed Ivan a potion that would bind his soul with a pendant. But in the process, Ivan's reflection disappeared. No mirror would show him, and no water would cast his image. Ivan, realizing the gravity of his actions, fell into a deep melancholy. The mysterious man returned to collect the pendant. Seeing the flawless masterpiece, he was overjoyed and handed Ivan the promised price. But as he rode away, the pendant began to glow. It whispered the tales of Ivan's sacrifice and his longing for a reflection, a glimpse of his own identity. That very night, under the full moon, the man was ambushed. The pendant, in its radiant aura, became the focus of a group of bandits. They sought the glowing jewel, and in their ruthless ambition, they decapitated the man, ensuring no witness remained. But the pendant had other plans. Infused with Ivan's soul and the essence of true love, it refused to let its wearer succumb so easily. The headless body of the man rose and climbed onto his stallion. With the pendant shining around his necklace torso, he chased the bandits. The glow of the pendant guided his path, casting an eerie luminescence. The bandits, in their terror, scattered in every direction. But the headless rider was relentless. One by one, each bandit met their fate, but not at the hands of the rider. Instead, the pendant's glow seemed to mesmerize them, making them walk aimlessly until they were lost, never to be found. The rider's vengeance complete, he turned his steed back towards Willow Creek. He rode straight to Ivan's workshop, the pendant pulsing as it neared its creator. Ivan, upon seeing the ghostly figure, fell to his knees. He realized the gravity of his choices and the horror they had wrought. The headless rider, standing silently in front of Ivan, pointed to the pendant and then to the ground. Understanding, Ivan took the glowing pendant and placed it carefully in a box made of lead, locking away its light. The rider nodded, turned, and vanished into the moonlight. Willow Creek, though shaken by the events, gradually returned to its peaceful demeanor. But the legend of the headless rider, powered by a pendant of unparalleled beauty and pain, persisted. Years passed, and on one fateful night, a group of adventurous youngsters decided to unveil the truth. In their search for the lead box, they inadvertently set in motion events that would once again summon the haunting presence of the Headless Rider, marking the beginning of a new chapter in Willow Creek's mysterious history. The group of youngsters, led by the Tenacious Solara, were the byproducts of modern curiosity. They were children of a generation that didn't easily believe in bedtime stories and fables. Willow Creek, for all its serenity, had become a hub of tourists who were eager to capture any signs of the legendary Headless Rider. And these kids wanted a first-hand experience, not some second-hand tales. The lead box was rumored to be hidden in the very workshop where Ivan once toiled. The place had since been abandoned and was considered a local taboo. As the full moon painted the sky, the group sneaked into the dilapidated structure, armed with flashlights and an insatiable desire for the truth. The atmosphere inside the workshop was heavy with the scent of old metal and forgotten memories. After hours of searching, Jasper, the youngest of the lot, stumbled upon a concealed trapdoor beneath a rusty workbench. Beneath it, nestled amidst cobwebs, was the lead box. Its presence seemed almost otherworldly, as though it pulsated with a life of its own. Ignoring the pleas of caution from his companions, Jasper, driven by an overpowering urge, opened the box. The pendant, still radiant as ever, mesmerized the group. The glow was inviting, 
almost beckoning them to wear it. And then it happened. A gust of wind, out of nowhere, blew the pendant out of the box, and it hovered in the air before placing itself around Jasper's neck. The room turned ice cold, and a heavy fog formed around them. Before they knew it, the headless rider appeared, his silhouette illuminated by the pendant's glow. But there was a twist. Instead of aggression, the rider radiated an aura of sorrow. His movements, though deliberate, were less about revenge and more about a desperate search. The group quickly realized he wasn't there for them. He was there for the pendant, which was binding Jasper in a trance-like state. Elara, ever the brave heart, approached the rider, offering the pendant. As she got closer, she could hear faint whispers. They were memories, fragments of love, loss, and sacrifice. She realized that the pendant was more than just a cursed jewel, it was the essence of two intertwined souls, Ivan and the mysterious lover. Taking a deep breath, Elara communicated her intent. She wanted to help, to free both souls from their endless torment. With her friends by her side, they formed a circle around the rider and Jasper, joining hands. The pendant glowed even brighter, casting the room in its golden hue. It began to levitate, pulling the essence from the rider and, surprisingly, from Jasper too. The room echoed with voices from the past, recounting the tale of love, betrayal, and redemption. And then, as swiftly as it had started, it was over. The pendant fell to the ground, its glow diminished, reduced to a mere trinket. The headless rider, now complete with his head, looked at the group with gratitude. It was the mysterious man from the past, his face showing relief from centuries of agony. He bowed slightly, mounted his ethereal stallion, and rode into the moonlight, fading away. Jasper, freed from the pendant's grip, collapsed but was soon revived by his friends. The group, their perception of reality forever altered, decided to rebury the pendant, ensuring that its tales remained undisturbed for eternity. Willow Creek, once a hub of tourists seeking ghostly adventures, started transforming. It became a place of pilgrimage for those seeking love, a testament to a tale where love transcended time, curses, and death. But as is the nature of all legends, there are always those who remain skeptical, those who seek to challenge the narratives. And in the shadows, a new story was about to unfold, setting the stage for the final chapter in the saga of the Headless Rider. News of the pendant's power spread like wildfire. Before long, Willow Creek found itself in the crosshairs of Alaric, a treasure hunter known for his ruthlessness and obsession with occult artifacts. He believed that if he could harness the pendant's power, he could bend reality to his whims. Alaric and his band of mercenaries invaded Willow Creek. They ransacked houses, threatened the townsfolk, and set their sights on the very ground where the pendant was reburied. With shovels and pickaxes, they began to dig, but what they unearthed wasn't just the pendant. They stirred the memories, the pain, and the anger that had been suppressed for years. As night descended and the moon shone its brightest, the ground trembled beneath them. From the shadows, a multitude of riders emerged, led by the headless rider, but this time, he was not alone. Flanked by spectral riders from centuries past, this army of souls was out for a singular mission, to protect the sanctity of the pendant in Willow Creek. Alaric, undeterred by the supernatural phenomena, ordered his men to attack. The two forces clashed in an ethereal ballet of light and shadow. Each time a mercenary tried to grab the pendant, they would be tossed aside by an invisible force, their screams echoing in the cold night. The young group, led by Elara, knew they had to intervene. They formed a protective circle around the pendant, chanting an old hymn passed down through the generations of Willow Creek. The hymn was said to have the power to seal away any malevolence. The spectral army began to gain the upper hand. One by one, Alaric's mercenaries were driven away, their greed no match for the determination of souls bound by love and sacrifice. But Alaric, with his insatiable lust for power, managed to break through the protective circle. Just as he was about to claim the pendant, the headless rider, with newfound vigor, intervened. The two locked in a dance of fury and power. Every strike, every move was a testament to the age-old battle between greed and love. As dawn approached, and the first rays of sunlight peeked over the horizon, Alara and her friends intensified their chant. A brilliant light emanated from the pendant, enveloping the battlefield. Alaric, unable to withstand the power of love and sacrifice the pendant embodied, was thrown back. The light was blinding, and when it faded, the headless rider and his spectral army were gone, leaving behind a serene landscape with no trace of the night's fierce battle. The pendant, now devoid of its glow, was picked up by Elara. It felt lighter, almost free. With the town's consent, she placed it inside the local museum, inside a glass case with an inscription, 
a testament to love, sacrifice, and the eternal battle between greed and goodness. Alaric, defeated and humbled, left Willow Creek, never to return. The town, once a hotspot for legends and tales, returned to its peaceful existence. But it stood as a beacon, a reminder that love, when truly selfless, can conquer the most formidable of adversities. Years turned to decades, and the tale of the headless rider became a legend told to eager listeners by the fireside. And while the spectral visits ceased, every full moon, the townsfolk of Willow Creek would gather around, glancing at the moonlit paths, half expecting to see the rider gallop by, a silent guardian of a tale as timeless as love itself.